Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My, my name is Muftado Ismail. I was born 37 years ago into the family of Mr. and Mrs. Muftado. I'm married and blessed with children. I'm a Nigerian national and I'm, I am a Muslim by faith. I attended Nawal Rubin Primary School, Okio Lagbaga in National State, Nigeria. I also attended Gaga High School for my sec secondary education. I graduated from Bafin Awolowo University, Ilinke, Nigeria, where I obtained my Bachelor of Agriculture in Animal Science with Bachelor of Agriculture uh, projects titled Effective of Egg Removal from Incubation Site and Achability of Egg Laid by Giant African Land Snail, Akakataina Marginata. I also attended Federal University of Agriculture, Abe Okuta, Nigeria where I obtained my Master of Agriculture in Animal Biotechnology with MAGRIC dissertation titled Genetic Diversity and Population Structures of Nigerian Indigenous Goat Breeds Using Microsatellite DNA Markers. I have a wealth of experience in livestock production as well as teaching. I've worked as supervisor at Nefra Bay Nigeria Limited, Kwara State, Nigeria, during this period, I was saddled with responsibility of archery management, production of fingerlings, production of table size, as well as uh, rearing, of, uh, rearing of juvenile to grown out fish. I've also worked as super, uh, field supervisor at Institute of Food Security, Environment and Agricultural Research a subsidiary of Federal University of Agriculture, Abe Okuta, Nigeria. I also worked as a part-time lecturer at Asanusia College of Education, Odiumu, Osho State, Nigeria, in the Department of Biology, where I taught courses such as biostatistics, animal anatomy and physiology, diversity of chordates, plant pathology, viruses, and so on and so forth. I am a pioneer a principal at Kasiba International Group of School Agbowo area in Washo State. I also teach a chemistry and biology at advanced level pro, advanced, advanced level section of Kasiba International Group of School Agbowo area, the IGMB uh, Center affiliate uh, in affiliation to Akwara State University. I have a number of publications to my credit, which are, which are published in reputable journals. I've also attended many conferences as well as work workshops where papers were presented. I got to know about IOU through Dr. Rauf M.O. of Lado Kiakitola University of Bumashore, Nigeria. He told me many fascinating things about IOU. Uh, from what I learned from him, I owe you have been improving the knowledge base of Muslim women world over. I recognize this as a welcome development as well as you know uh, a, a, a developmental program that we uh, that that we had a better living of uh, Muslim women world over. These and many more are what actually arose my interest in joining I owe you. Lecture presentation. My lecture is on the introduction to animal genetics and breeding. First and foremost, what is what is what is genetics? Genetics is the science of heredity. It is concerned with the behavior of particulate factors, now called genes, which are passed from the parent to their offspring in the reproductive process. This gene are responsible for the similarities and differences of various characters among living organisms. The word genetics was suggested by William Batson in 1906, and among its areas are Mendelian genetics, quantitative genetics, population genetics, as well as molecular genetics. Mendelian genetics deals with the inheritance of traits that are governed by a few gene peer. This, the transmission of Mendelian traits follow 
Mendelian rule. We also have a uh, quantitative genetics could be seen. Uh, quantitative genetics deals with the inheritance of polygenic traits, the traits that are governed by many genes. These traits are highly influenced. They are not only influenced by the gene, but also uh, by the environment where that organism present. Population genetics uh, deals with the genetic genetic constitution of individuals, individuals of the same species inhabiting an area, rather than dealing with the genetic constitution of an individual. So it could be seen as the consequence of Mendelism on uh, uh, the, the consequence of Mendelism in the in the, in, in the entire population. Also, we have molecular genetics. Molecular genetics deals with the behavior and the structure of particulate factor, that's gene, and, uh, and how the in information in the gene are translated into observable characters. The history of genes. Prior to 1900, many theories were propounded uh, to explain the inheritance among uh, inheritance of traits among living organisms. Perhaps the first, the earliest, was the theory of spontaneous uh, emergence of living organism from inorganic uh, matter. This theory was refuted by the experiment conducted by Alexander Fleming on rotten meat. Rotten meat. Thereafter, we have the preformation theory, which recognized uh, organism as present in miniature form in one of the gametes, which only which only required a proper nutrition to mature. We also have theory of epigenesis. Theory of epigenesis attributed structures that were not present in an individual that were not present uh, in a, originally in an individual to unexplainable uh, forces. Then also we have theory of pangenesis. Theory of pangenesis uh, was suggested by uh, Charles Darwin, which you know uh, supported this theory with three principles: principle of principle of variation, principle of heritable variation, principle of natural selection. Then also we have Lamarck's theory. Lamarck's theory suggested that acquired traits are inherited. Also, we have Weismann germplasm theory. Weismann suggested that there are two kinds of tissues in the body of animal. One is somatoplasm and the second one is germplasm. The somatoplasm responsible for the uh, building of the body structure. Why the germplasm? are responsible is the tissue that's responsible for the transmission of genetic information from the parent to the offspring but all in all the all, uh, all in all the the theories uh, before the mid 19th century were were uh, were said to be inconclusive because of their uh, shortcomings in the mid 19th century, a firm evidence about particulate inheritance was provided through the experiment of a, a Greek, a, a, an Austrian monk, Gregor Mendel. From, from his work, he you know, suggested two laws. The first one is law of segregation, the second one is law of independent assortment of genes. The first law states the, the first law that's law of segregation states that heritable traits are controlled by a gene pair, which separate from other other uh, which separate from allelic pair during the formation of gametes. The second one is talking about two kinds of genes, uh, uh, two genes controlling two different traits. You know, uh, allelic pair controlling a, a, a trait separates from its member in, separate from its member and recombine with a, a non-allelic pair controlling another trait during 
uh, during reproduction. Importance of genetics. The application of genetics in agriculture can be explained by the uh, transformation being done on some food crops like citrus, potatoes, wheat, and rice. You know, many, many of these crops have been genetically improved to, uh, to make these plants to be able to withstand insect pests, disease pests, uh, which we later translate into higher productivity of this plant. Also, uh, the quality of agricultural produce have been improved through the application of genetic principle. Many animals have been genetically modified. They have been genetically modified to make them uh, to make them um, bet, to, 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 to better their, uh, their productivity, to make them more uh, productive and more, you know, more, uh, to, to make them more productive as well as increases their uh, production. The application of genetics in, in law could be seen in the, in the in, 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 uh, it, it could help in conflicting criminals. When samples of the criminals is um, uh, can be can be uh, I mean is available for DNA analysis and that could be cross-checked with the DNA of suspect. If it is actually the suspect that perpetrated the evil, this could be easily known. Also, the knowledge of genetics have, uh, uh, is very important also in medicine in, adva in uh, uh, advising. Couple, yeah, yet to be a couple uh, on who to who to get married with, and whom uh, who uh, uh, whom are they, they are not supposed to get married with. For, for instance, an individual that is um, that is a carrier of sickle cell, that person will look normal. But the fact that there is a factor of sickle uh, of sickle cell, that is, there is a gene controlling sickle cell in that individual. That person is not expected to marry uh, another carrier. Otherwise, they could give, they could, uh, this is a matter of, uh, is a matter of probability, is a matter of chance. They, can, they have tendency of giving birth to uh, a, a sickle cell uh, offspring. Also, many genetically, uh, many, gen many, many, many vaccines have been genetically engineered. Many genetically engineered vaccines have been, produ have been produced uh, for immunization against many diseases. These and many more are the importances of uh, genetics in, in life. Animal breeding. Breeding is the application of genetics as well as biotechnology principles for genetically Im uh, for, for, for improvement of uh, economically important traits in domestic animals. There are two methods available uh, for the available to the breeders to bring about genetic improvement in farm animals. The first one is selection and the second one is different mating schemes available. Selection. Selection is the process by which individuals are chosen to be the parent of the next generation. The superior are usually chosen. Those that are considered superior with respect to a particular trait are preferred to be the parent of the next generation with the hope that such traits will be repeated in, the, in their offspring. Yes, because of the time factor, we maybe will continue uh, next time. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.